Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to dive further into building our own theme. And we're not going to quite get our hands dirty yet. Uh, there's still a couple more things we got to go over first, but they're just some minor things. And then in the next lesson, we're going to start building our theme from scratch. Okay? So, what we need to do first is we need to go over a little bit about layouts and blocks. So, you have these layouts and blocks, right? Um, this page is actually using a two column layout despite it looking like three columns. If you remember when we went into the static pages and we went and edited this, there was actually some uh, custom layout code in there and it was giving this a second column despite this saying it was only two columns. So this main column here uh, and this left column are actually uh, one column that is just being done with CSS. To prove it to you, if I were to go into uh, CMS static pages, um, I mean pages, not static blocks, um, home page, you can see the uh, design of the page says two columns with right bar. Um, like I said, the reason why it's doing something different is because uh, the default in Magento here for the home page has this left column um, in the code here. So just ignore this being three columns, but what a layout is, is it's the actual layout of the page. Um, as in, this is two columns. We have one column, which is this main content here, and then we have one column, which is the sidebar. Main column, right sidebar. If we go to a particular product, you can see these are actually two column pages as well. Main content, right sidebar. And these can all be adjusted. Let's say if we wanted to adjust one of these specifically um, for like an individual product or even let's say the home page, we can say the layout. The layout's now going to be one column. Okay, now let's refresh. Let's go to our home page. Now it's one column. And, and like you said, it may look like it's two columns, but like I showed you before, that second column is actually just done uh, for some reason on the page itself. Um, so this is how you change the layouts in Magento, right? So you have these different layouts. By default, uh, there's just uh, one column, two column with the left sidebar, two column with the right sidebar, and three columns. You'll be able to create your own, but you shouldn't really need to create any outside of that um, unless you, you want to. Uh, but the layouts are sort of like the biggest, the most global picture here. And then if we go down a little bit more, we have structural blocks. And the structural blocks are actually the components of the layout. So uh, the header, this whole bit right here, is all uh, considered a structural block. Uh, the left column itself is a structural block. The main column is a structural block. The footer is a structural block. And then the content blocks are those blocks within the structural block. So let's say this best-selling products, this is a content block. Uh, this poll is a content block. Recently viewed products, it's a content block. Okay, so this is going to be very important to understand once we get into sort of the XML stuff and uh, being able to change and move these around, okay? We also have something called widgets, right, which are dynamically uh, created pieces of content um, that would be blocks on the site that are sort of dynamically... So this popular tags is considered a widget, but it's a content block. So these uh, blocks of things can be uh, not only just you know a static image, but it can also be a widget, which we did go over in a previous lesson, but I'm sure there's always more to go over. So let's talk a little bit more about themes. I'm gonna show you something real quick too. Um, let's talk about this rollbacking that we talked about in the last lesson. So if you don't have any particular files in uh, your theme, let's say your theme's name is default and then of course, it has the default theme in here. If you don't see, um, you know, if you don't have a particular file in here, it's going to go, well, okay, let's put it this way. Let's look at the modern theme. If there's not a particular file in the modern theme, first it's going to fall back to the default. It's in your theme package. And then if it doesn't find it in here, it's going to fall back to this default or your base default. The lesson here is you're not going to necessarily want to ever edit any of these base default theme files. Because let's say uh, you mess something up, there's really uh, you know, not a whole lot of ways to fix it if you can't go back to these default files that you have here. So really the best practice would be to create your own theme and then just go from there. Okay? 
but to show you about how we change themes and how it's really cool because you don't have to have the app layout stuff. If you want to do only CSS to your site, you can do only CSS by creating a, uh, or by using just the skin. So if we look in our, uh, we're in the folder structure we're in right now is in skin, front end, and then default. Uh, you'll notice that Magento has all these themes installed by default with our site. So let's actually show you how you can enable one of these themes and it'll get you a better idea. So in the next lesson, when we start to create the bones of our own theme, you'll know exactly how to enable it. Okay, so if we look here, we have modern uh, blue blank default. Let's see what the blue theme looks like. And we're just going to use the CSS for the blue theme. If we go to our site and we go to system configuration, and then now down to uh, design here on the left, you'll see that we have our current package name and then themes. In your theme, it's allowing you to do different things here. We can uh, CSS, just the layout, change the default. Uh, we're going to write in here, we're going to type in blue, because if you remember, there was that blue theme in our skin file. So let's click save. If we have this in here, it saves everything. It should be using the blue theme variant. So let's go to our page and let's refresh and you should see a new theme. So here, here's exactly what can be accomplished with just CSS and it really changes the whole look of the site here. You can do a whole lot more than just this, uh, but this is a nice way to change it up. And you know, let's say this, this fits the version of the company that you're looking for, you might not have to do a whole lot extra. You can overwrite some stuff from this. And in the next lesson, we're going to start creating our own theme. I'm going to show you some cool developers tools and we'll get into some neat stuff. Okay. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the video below. Hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts, or you can hit me up at Twitter at S. Talinsky. Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.